Hello everyone, my name is Deepika, welcome to my channel. This week, you guys are going to watch me use my channel to teleport to the 90s. So yeah, this week we're going to be recreating 90s runway looks. The runway show that we're going to be recreating is the Perry Ellis 1993 Grunge Collection. Yeah, before we get started, I just want to thank you so much for clicking on my measly little video. It means a lot. If you have come here from a different video and you've liked and you like what you've seen so far, make sure you like and subscribe. I post once a week. Um, so yeah, I hope you stay with me. So like I said, we're recreating 90s runway looks. I got inspired to do this because I was I watch YouTube a lot and in my recommended, you know sometimes you get really random videos in your recommended uh, feed and this was inspired by one of those moments. So basically randomly I got all of these 90s runway shows in my YouTube recommended. I clicked on it, I watched it, I was like wow, there are so many outfits that I would wear. And then I thought there's so many outfits that I can wear because I have some of these clothes. It's funny how the world works. So that's what we're going to try to do this video. Hopefully it's not a failure. I mean, there's definitely some that I think I missed the mark on, but I think there's some that I did just okay in. Okay, so I have all of the photos right in front of me. You may see me looking down occasionally, that's just to look at the photos I have on my laptop. So the first outfit is a nice wintry outfit. I don't recommend wearing it in the middle of July, which is what I did, and I perspired a lot. So um, the first outfit has like a trench coat, and I was super excited because I just got a trench coat. She's wearing like a t-shirt and then a cardigan over it, and then a flannel over it, and then a trench coat over it. So super warm and cozy. If that's your thing, super wintry outfit, and then for and then for pants, she's wearing these uh, corduroy cropped pants, which I do have in tan in the tan color, and she's wearing a nice little belt with some Doc Martens. So basically, I don't have the hat she's wearing because all of my hats are at college. Okay, the next look is a workwear look. I am not a working woman in this context, but I thought it was a look that I had the capability to recreate, so I did. Um, so the tank top, I don't have a gray tank top like this. Um, and so the tank, top that, the, the tank top that I use and that you'll see is uh, a knitted orange tank top, and then I put on gray trousers, high-waisted trousers, which I think fit the vibe of this outfit. Um, she's not wearing the blade, although she's carrying the blazer, she's not wearing it on. So I've decided I'm just going to ignore that the blazer exists, which is what I did. I'm not sure if the way everything was put together is something that I would do instinctively, but it's an interesting look. Okay, the third look was easy peasy, except the dress I had. I realize it doesn't look that much like this one, but it's kind of the same vibes. It's like a long maxi chiffon dress with a floral print on it. Uh, the one I have buttons all the way down, but I usually don't wear it all the way buttoned down so I can have some a little leg peeking out. Um, but for this one, for this one I tried to button a little bit more buttons. I didn't have a choker. I was originally going to use these strings that I bought to make chokers like years ago, but I didn't end up finding them because my organization skills are so stellar. That was sarcasm. I'm just gonna pair every look with Doc Martens, which is easy for me, so that's what I did. So the fourth look, I think I kind of missed the mark on this one, but I tried, and that's all that matters in this context. Um, so I actually thought I had a dress like this. I spent many hours yesterday looking for this dress, could not find it, so I thought I used something else. Um, but overall, I feel like what I recreated gives off the same vibes. For the dress in this look, I used 
like a dress I found around the house that I think is a couple years old, but I don't know why I haven't worn it a lot. Like, I really like it. So I'm going to wear it before. I've decided. I've made the executive decision right here, ladies and gentlemen. You all are the first to hear it. And underneath, because the neckline wasn't that as deep V as the picture, I wore a turtleneck to give off more of that shirt under the dress vibe. And then for shoes, I wore my black uh, Doc Martens that aren't tie-up because the tie-up Doc Martens I have are green because I'm just quirky like that. So yeah, that was that look. Let me know if this one was kind of the same vibes. I'm not sure about it. I tried. Um, but let me know if the try was a good try or a bad try. Okay, and then the last one is super fun. It's a super fun one because of the raincoat and the colorful pants. So that's why I wanted to recreate this one. Unfortunately, I don't have the colored pants. Um, anyway, so I found this red trench coat I bought in 11th grade when I thought I was gonna wear my red long trench coat to high school. Looking back, I never wore it because I was not, I was not nearly as daring as I thought I was. Um, but we found a use for it now and honestly trying it on now for this video has made me feel inspired to wear it forever Because it's kind of a cool coat. So anyway, I, I used the red trench coat thing that I bought from Zara years ago um, and then I had a red uh, sheer top. I'm not sure if it'll show up that way in the footage, but and it's definitely not as cropped as hers um, but I feel like the vibes are a little bit the same and then I definitely don't have those printed pants I don't have printed pants with red details in it. So I wasn't able to do that I found green loose pants and then I paired that with my black non like Chelsea boot Doc Martens And I feel like that conveyed similar-ish vibes I and mean, that's the goal at the end of this video just to wear things maybe a little bit modernized maybe a little Deepa iced outfits. Okay, and that is the last look of this video. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be posting once a week. Make sure you subscribe so you can see it. I'd love to have you. Um, anyway, if you made it all the way through, thank you so much for clicking on my measly little video and staying all the way through. I'll see you next week. Yeah, 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 yeah,